pretty quick and easy, right? So I'll just go ahead, go to my home view here and extrude this out. And this extrusion is gonna be 22.5 millimeters in thickness. Okay. So I've got my initial, uh, my initial profile, uh, my initial uh, 3D uh, volume here, this, uh, this solid, and I wanna add some additional features to it. The nice thing about Inventor, as I see it, is, is that you can literally have a conversation with it, try not to do it out loud. People around you in your cube might think that weird, but essentially with an inventor, if you right click your mouse, it's, it, there's a good chance what you're gonna do next is available right there. So for example, uh, on this surface, this is a left click. I want to right click, uh, and, and that's essentially the I want to start a new sketch. And you'll notice that uh, if I right click this time, I get a new longer dialogue. Now you probably can't read it from there, um, but nevertheless, it's a, it's a new dialog box. So here I'll just go up and say I want to project geometry and I want to project that outside edge so I can reference the same center point as the arc that I sketched out in my initial sketch. And I'll draw uh, a circle right on that same center point. And again, I'll just grab a dimension here, uh, 40 millimeters, something like that, and go ahead and extrude this up, also 40 millimeters, but I want to add a taper to it. And I'll just go into the More tab, kind of on the fly, Rather than jumping back and forth between different, um, different features, I'll just grab a uh, negative five degree taper right there. So I've got, uh, again, yet another feature on this particular 3D component and uh, really not that hard. Next, I want to go ahead and, and, and I wanna, I'm going to drill a hole uh, through, that, through that boss there and we'll just call it uh, 18 millimeters and have it go all the way through the part. But I, <clears throat> I need to tell it where to go first. So I'm going to go over here and say, I want it to be on that surface and concentric to the outside circle there of that, of that boss. And, and as you can see now, I've got a nice hole going through there. All right, now, I've got a little bit ahead of myself here, um, but uh, it's no problem, because with, with parametric modeling, with, with Inventor, I'm able to, to kind of go back in time a little bit, if you will. So I'm gonna just drag my end apart up and, and, and temporarily hold that hole. Because what I want to do is I want to sketch on the bottom surface here. Um, for those of you following along at home, that was me making a mistake, um, but making it sound like I meant to do it. Did it work? 